it's like deja vu, isn't it? But see nothing of what what just occurred. You know what, I'll tell you what, even I have no poker face, do I? I can't even like pretend. Yeah, we got it wrong the first time. Give me a heart if it's the right orientation and it's working. If you're having to like lie on your side to see us, that isn't good. I'm hoping that this is now filming in landscape. If you are there, thank you. And if you are there, can you just give me a heart to let us know that we're in the right, it's all working as it should. Uh, a thumbs up from somebody. Yay, thank you. coming back again. Hey, brilliant. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you. Is there a little blip then? But we thought after we'd done all this, then, oh, you know, we should have done that in landscape. And if you start filming in one orientation and you turn the thing, it doesn't automatically switch over. It's a Facebook thing. So now we know. So here's the thing. This is, as I said before, in the bit that didn't happen. Um, it's all all about when colour meets pyrography. So pyrography being wood burning, let me show you something like this. So little discs like these, little um, really inexpensive pine slices of actual branch, cheap as chips. And, um, but great to work on. So this is pyrography. This is pyrography. This was a little freehand tree drawing because it's so small. To be honest, a stamp with the level of detail that would be in there would be like a challenge. So I'll have a doodle, try and fill a kind of tree of life in there. And that was really fun to do. Uh, this is pyrography, love the pro. This has actually been waxed as well and it looked darker, but what's happened is it's lightened again. So when it's kind of like, it's still a little bit damp when you first put the wax on to protect it. And I love the crow. Now, sometimes I think it looks better without color and I love the crow without the color. I just think he looks cool the way he is. Just got that earthy kind of natural looking color um, thing about him, no color. However, what we're gonna do is we're going to bring color into the mix, like this one here, or this one here. And a lot of you are saying, I love the color ones, they're so cool. So imagine these as gifts, just as keepsakes. So you put that around a bottle, could be for a birthday, could be Christmas, could be, obviously there's a Christmas tag we're gonna do too. Um, a little charm, a little wall, wall charm. Instead of a gift tag, this, is a keeper, isn't it? You know, put a bit of ribbon. Obviously, I haven't finished it off and embellished. Um, but these ones, when you buy them, they've got a little drilled hole and you actually get a nice little twiny string to go with them, very earthy. But again, if you're into a bit of beading, a bit of ribbon, you can do all that. And um, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add some color. And, oh, the other thing to mention is, check this out. You know what I was saying about the size and things? I've done some researching. I've scaled up, look at that. Whoa. So we've gone from this little one here to that one. Oh, hey, but check it out. That's, I didn't stop there. Whoa, look at that. You can have your dinner off that. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, it's huge. But I thought for, for something for wall art, for something, you could get more on there and get a whole scene on there. So again, but they're so inexpensive and accessible. So great. So, and look at the shape of that one. Loving that one. It's a bit psychedelic. I'm looking at that one and I'm getting all kind of furry and groovy. Whoa, man, tripping. Okay, so better. You lost me for a bit, but I'm back. So shall we look here now and start playing? Yeah. And if you've got any questions, shout up as well. Maria's reading the screen for me. Um, my ever silent camera woman, <laughs> as you know. And the DT are here to answer. Yay, me DT, me posse, me, the girls, as Lovely we call girls. them. Yeah, they are just what a team I have ridiculously talented but you know what just lovely people too so fantastic so here's the thing shall we do a little bit of coloring to start off with? let's start with this one I think this looks quite simple I wasn't going to color this to start with but then I thought you know I'm gonna so we're gonna do poppy uh, coloring so what I'm doing is I'm using my colored pencils now the thing with the wood coloring is I don't want it to be super super strong I want it to be more of a tint because I still like the fact that you've got the wood showing underneath. Because you might as well have just done it on on paper, you know, if you don't see the beauty of the wood showing through somewhere. So I'm doing these little scribbles of orangey, reds, and the like here. And this is going to be the base for my poppy. Because whenever I'm colouring a poppy and I want a vibrant red on whatever surface, whatever medium, um, I usually like to have a bit of orange in there and sometimes I underpaint the highlighted areas with orange because it makes the red look more glowy because um, you want a light and you want 
uh, bright and dark and light and shade and contrast in any color you've got if you can introduce it so that's usually the way i go for that and it usually serves me well so having said that haven't painted a poppy on wood yet you've seen it first here guys so what i'm doing is i'm taking my brush and i'm just going to wet the poppy a little bit kind of like you would with paper as if you were doing wet into wet and you can see it's gone dark it looks because you know it's absorbent and it's absorbing the water and so it's making it look darker than it actually is this is just water when this dries it's going to go exactly back to the color it was so don't fret don't panic if this is what you go oh, okay what's going on it's fine so i'm also going to take a little bit of orange and i'm just going to pop it in you see where this this is just um folding over where the light's going to be catching it now what you may also be able to see is that there's the rings in the wood where it's grabbing in bits but that's all right that's painting on wood this is what we're going to get we're not going to get if you're the same you know exact finish as if we were painting on paper and we don't want it or we would have just done that bernice is asking would your inks work okay you know what bernice will mention this on sunday and the thing is with inks no i wouldn't because what i would with watercolor concentrates if that's what you mean yes absolutely watercolor concentrates perfect just make sure that you water them down because they're really strong inks i wouldn't because the thing is these little things if you're talking wood you expect to keep it longer than a bit of card do you not well the color won't keep with any dye based product long at all because when the light hits it sooner or later it's going to fade so if you use pencils or watercolors they're pigment based and they are going to uh, not fade so i would absolutely not recommend dye based inks for this for that reason okay but thanks for good question and quick hello to Anne and andrew and evesham oh pop it oh you can't pop in for a cuppa no forget i said that we'll wave to you tonight when we're when we're clapping nhs is it tonight again yes i think so. every night yeah Eight o'clock. we'll be out there maria with her pan and our and our I, uh, my ladle my ladle yes yeah. <laughs> the noisiest woman in the street aren't you oh, pet they taught me to ladle, ladle oh you know it's, it doesn't matter how tenuous the the link is can you see why we make a you know a, a pair that reading should she really shouldn't ruin another, ruin another pair it's best that you know we keep together because why inflict either of us on somebody else See, I don't get out much, even under normal circumstances. We don't, you know, we're just mm -hmm. pretending like, whoa, lockdown now. Oh, what's this like, eh? Whoa, normally the life we're leading, eh, pet. Whoa, the parties, whoa, out all night. Nah, now it's changed, hasn't it? <laughs> no. Nothing's different. <laughs> so we've got some colour on there. And what we'll do is we'll dry that and see what it looks like. But I'm going to put those little flowers yellow. I want these bright. I want the corn yellow as well. Mary Muscardi's in the house, the Yay! winner of our last live. We've got, I'll tell you what, we've got a post office run ready to do, but obviously... No, I got them in the post office yesterday. Did you? Yeah. Ah, but it's on its way then. Fantastic. That was with your shopping day for your mum and dad, eh? Uh-huh. Bless. You've got to multitask, haven't you? You've got to do, you know, more than one. If you're out, you've got to try and do, you know. Right, so let's do this bright... Oh, you know what? They would look nice blue, wouldn't they? There with the yellow now. All right, we'll do them a bit yellow. And it's one of those things that until you dry this, you're not really going to see the colour very well. So you've got to just kind of, you know, when you use a heat gun and you, when you're doing watercolours and before, between layers, you dry it before you add more, you know, water-based product or it goes a bit patchy or you can't control it as well. It's a bit like that with this because um, you want to um dry and see what how much color you've got on before you keep layering it up and don't be tempted if it goes a bit patchy to think i'll add more in order to smooth it out because if you do like i say you don't want a thick opaque layer on there at least i don't want that because i don't want it to look like i've used like an acrylic paint or something um i want it to still have that translucent kind of see-through look so that it looks more like the wood's tinted. Right, so we've got that. Let's look at a colour, kind of for the corn colour. Are you all out there, still there? With other people looking, watching, Maria? Yes, yes. Fantastic, all, all two of them? 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jeanette's asking, um, how do you get the detailed picture onto the wood? Oh, brilliant question, Jeanette. If you look back onto the one from Sunday, the um, the inspiration, um, isolation inspiration for sun from Sunday, they're on YouTube now and they're on the Facebook page. But if you look, you'll see that I stamped them on. So these are stamps. Um, this is from the, the season set, the summer set, I think it was summer. And um, you'll see it's like a little, you know, my year in stamps revisited. And you see the, the ones that I've just been through and thought, oh, that would look good on a bit of wood. That'll look good on a bit of wood. That would work. So, yeah, so stamp them on using a really pale ink. Now, for the, the initial stamp, I used, um, here, look, I'll show you there, this one. I used pumice stone distress ink if you haven't got anything just a second generation if you've only got a darker stamp but it's a bit iffy on wood you know second generation sometimes it can hit some miss some and it's even more dodgy on wood so a lighter color is better where you can make sure you make an even contact with the whole thing and then i went over and um and burned with my burner which i'll show you in a sec by burner i mean a pyrography machine and I can see quite a few of you have been out and you've invested in these pyrography machines. I know Alison, Alison Garrett, Hamish's mum, you bought yours. Fantastic. Oh, did you see that amazing sign the lady did on the inkettes with the uh, dot with the number? Yeah, that was incredible. Oh, use the, the, um, the cottage from the Magic Cottage. How cool that looks. If you're on the inkets, if you haven't joined yet, join Sheena's inkets if you haven't yet. But have a look at the fantastic. And I think that was the first project she'd done as well. But Bernard just arrived and like, oh, I'll just do this. And uh, hello. Bit of a talent there. But that's the fun of it, isn't it? At least we've got time to try things out. This was a new thing for me just over a week ago. I'd never never tried it ever the closest i'd got to anything close was i once bought a um a stencil cutting machine which was based on like the you know the um soldering iron which is what a lot of the um a lot of the uh, wood burning tools are based on it's like it looks a soldering iron type thing and much harder to control than than the um wire burner wood burner that I used on Sunday and which I'll again show you in a sec but um, that was the only experience I'd had of ever of trying anything close to this and it was really tricky um, because again of the really long handle and not being able to get close like when I'm using my paintbrush or I'm drawing my little my pinky fingers usually my anchor to rest to give me stability <laughs> I need a bigger pinky finger <laughs> I'm just saying but also um it's uh when you're using the other style you're holding it way back like this and you haven't got that and it's a lot more motion it's much more difficult to control so all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dry that quickly guys see what it looks like and then i'm going to put a little bit of blue in the sky can have the wax pot, please, you can have the wax pot maria there you go while i'm drying that try not to heat the wax pot up that was somebody was asking about the wax. No, nope, I'm lean oh. on it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> All right, I'll move it a bit closer then because that's doing you no good, is it? There you go. Thank you. All right. You should see the equipment we have in the loft. We have got overhead camera supports. We've got all kinds of kit to give you uh, a camera woman signal that you know it's not like she's silent she just needs to say hold it up yeah. <laughs> i've got it's honestly like sitting next to marcel marceau a really bad mime sometimes um so right so that's what we've got so far and i think that looks that's all right it's pretty good i'm happy with that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a pretty blue and i'm going to scribble that on my card And I'm going to tell you what we're going to play on Sunday. Um, I've, I already know what we're going to play on Sunday. And there's a reason I'll like tell you on Sunday. Is we are going to play painting on glass. 
but not the kind of glass painting where you use a liner and you use a clear glass paint. We're painting on glass with the kind of paints that you can actually even uh, wash and use. So that is what we're going to do on Sunday. Try to mix it up for you. Trying to make it hard for me. Yeah, absolutely. That'll be fun. Trying to film the glass. So what I'm doing again, you know when we do wet into wet with watercolour, I'm actually doing that same principle with this. I'm wetting the wood like this where I want the colour to blend a little bit. I'm going to stop there because I've got a good little place I can stop, a little channel and see how it's going. And then I'm going to pick up some blue and then I'm just going to give a little bit of a an outline to the image but not and if I've got just bare wood showing further towards the edges that's not a worry that's what I want I don't want it a thick thick cover again now different wood you use it'll be you'll have a different effect the, the rings in this pine are really absorbing the paint at a different rate than than the um you know the where the rings aren't so you're never going to get a, a smooth blend with this one but that's okay it still adds to the charm of it so we've got a little tint of the blue there but it looks a bit dark and a bit mm, what's going on tell you what let's try it and we'll see and then we'll continue with the rest any questions how you all doing no questions at this point, but a All big right. hello from us to our friends across the water in America. Yay! Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I'll be speaking to my friends across the water this week. Sue and Cal Sue and Sue Sue and Robin. Sue and Irvine in California and Robin, sister in Laguna Beach. So can you see how we've got that there now? drying quite nicely happy with that we can work with that so now I know that that's what I want to do with the rest of it so I'm just going to take a little bit of I'm going to scribble a bit more of that blue the blue I used there was the um, light ultramarine now again I'm using the pencils like a paint so if you've got watercolor paints and that's fine but I know loads of you had um, invested in some watercolor pencils so I thought why not use them are we going to say something then, Maria? No. Oh. I just keep having to lift up all the time. It's killing my shoulders. Oh, bless. you got a dodgy shoulder. I mean, camera yeah. woman is... She's, she's got an injury. Oh, man. Okay, so... um, Are you going to be able to manage? Are you all yeah, right? You have to keep coming up over your hand, but I suppose okay. you've got to hold it, really, haven't you, to... Yeah... I'll try and speed it up. So where can you buy the wood? The wood, um, I got mine all on Amazon, including those massive ones that came today as well. Um, really inexpensive. I think there was about 20 of those little discs for 10 quid. So really affordable. It's not one of those things that, you know, it, it's 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 great, but it's a bit prohibitive in price. It's uh, and, and when you're learning, I didn't want to pay a lot of money for a really lovely bit of wood to try pyrography on even though it is easier, the better the wood, there's certain woods that are better to burn on, to um, you know, to, to use the pyrography technique on. Um, and they're usually woods without rings and um, a smoother finish, but then those woods are normally more expensive. So as long as I could get a decent finish and not pay a fortune while I'm learning the tool and, and how it works and, and what doesn't work, then I thought that was a good compromise. So these are, which is why I ordered more, a few bigger ones as well, because I think they're just quite charming. We've got a crazy dog who's wanting a treat because she can smell oh, it. Oh, she is kicking off. Yeah, we've just, we've started bringing our, um, our little treats in because she's a good girl. She's absolutely, she's a little angel, really. She's, she's brilliant. But the only thing is she's a little bit vocal, like our mummies. And um, so, yeah, we'll bring bribes in to shut her up during Facebook Lives. And um, she knows they're there. So she's kicking off for them. And obviously with Maria already trying to, like, you know, steady the camera with her dodgy shoulders, 
uh, multitasking is a little bit difficult at the minute. So, Wales, you'll have to wait a minute, Pet. Get one in a minute. Okay. That'll be Maria's sister. <laughs> We normally give her the heads up, don't we? I am challenged tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're probably falling back thinking, well, they can't be out. <laughs> the hint of colour. One in. We might do the Santa's feet one. And I think we'll give one away, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. I think we should. Stick with us to the end of the show and we shall choose somebody. Yeah, if you can. <laughs> yeah, as if my mum doesn't ring or my yeah. sister. All right, so, that's, so what you could do is if you wanted to, with it being pencils and things, you could go in with a little bit of, uh, I suppose, pencil and darken some bits as well. Looks a bit like cheating though, doesn't it? Because you've already got the burning of the wood on there. And I, I, yeah. Oh, Lisa says, pick me. Now, Lisa, you know better than that. <laughs> You're not allowed. Oh, bless them. Right, so we could, you know, use a pencil dark and a bit. If you've missed a bit or if you want to bring out a little bit of detail anywhere, there's no reason why you can't do that. It's all good. Um, but I think I'm going to leave that. that. Shall we wax it and, and have that say so it's finished? Do it. Alrighty then. I'm saying, shall we wax it? I need to find a cloth in which we we'll be able to do that. This cloth here. You're going to take away my I steady, am. aren't you now? Sorry. Go on then. Sorry. So, okay, so this is the bry wax, and now you can varnish them as well. I like, if you're going to wax it, I would say use a water based colouring medium. Um, because if you put wax on and it's a wax based crayon, it could move the colour. So, this is where it's going to go really dark and it does look a bit aged and vintage as you will be by the end of all of these uh, Facebook lives having to endure with us two. Well us three, sorry Will. Hello May. Hey May. Dawn says it looks bad. Oh cheers. Thank you. Well it was quick wasn't it? I mean the thing is is it's really not time consuming so if you're like me and haven't got loads of patience little bits of art are great for me because you know it's like okay moving on to the next so that's a good thing and um and it also comes together just so quickly so right so we've got that on there now and now what i'm going to do is you probably want two or three coats on it but i'm going to show you one i did earlier there's the yeah, rest back there maria this one here was also as dark as that but look at how much it's lightened so don't worry if you, because that is waxed. Can you see the shine on it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's protected and waxed. So if it looks like that and you go, wow, no, what happened? Don't panicky not. It'll be fine when it, I'm going to, I'm going to polish it anyway, a little bit now, but it will lighten up again. So, um, and two or three coats is better than just the one coat. So when you do this, I'm using a softer cloth and just polishing to protect it. The other thing is, I have to say, lovely Tracy, who used to, on my design team, who used to um, do this pyrography years ago, she used to do it on leather. So she sent me a load of scrap leather to play with. It's like, instead of encouraging me, you know what, you're like you lot, you should be, you know, telling me to cease and desist and, you know. But no, so they're encouraging me and I'm, um, I'm gonna try, making some leather jewellery because the thing is with these um, mixed media dyes and things we've got you can cut stuff out then burn it and make necklaces bracelets all kinds of stuff so can you see how i'm gonna i'll polish that later a bit more but look see how the it's lightening and the colors yeah, coming out oh you know what i should have done rats i meant to put a bit of white on it to bring it out a little bit what i would do now because i white gouache isn't going to go over wax all right but a white pencil would, or maybe a white pen. I don't think I have a white pencil in here. I'll have one in me, in me, um, in my craft room. But we don't want to take the time out to go and do that. But if you wanted, you could. I'm going to use the pen here. That's Willow chasing a fly now. 
but if you think it's looking a little bit dark and it could need do with a little bit of a highlight absolutely no harm in popping a little bit of white something on there that looks better just blend it in a little bit thing is with your white gel pens with because they're water based um, don't forget you can just blend them a little bit and if you want to a little highlight on these bits here and yeah willow's willow's going for it now so i could let that dry then try waxing over it again and hopefully it'll just it'll trap between the two layers Jeanette was saying that she's really happy that she found you by accident oh. so this must be your first time Jeanette welcome yay cheers Jeanette thanks for that you know where to find us now absolutely yeah so we'll be back on Sunday Jeanette I'm doing regular every Sundays during um, during lockdown and hopefully after that as well because I'm enjoying it you know so I haven't done the uh, Facebook live for a while but yeah we're gonna do them regularly aren't we Maria yes and like I say also you know onto YouTube as well so that ah, looks much better doesn't it see that little bit of highlight in there it's all about the contrast and what I'm doing is I'm thinking of the light mostly from the left can be whichever direction just as long as you're kind of quite consistent with wherever it's going to be from it's all good I've got some little dots in the center of that poppy I think that looks a lot better now we've got a little doggy going crazy in here trying to get this <laughs> we have to try and teach her that you know bees and wasps aren't the best thing to chase did we not Maria mm. And up at the vets, don't you? When yeah, they get exactly. With a really weird looking kind of face thing going on. That's what happened to Luna, didn't it? Oh, Luna. Who yeah. made Luna? Oh, there you go. Yeah, it looks much better, don't you think? That's Thumbs up if you cheap. think it looks better. Shall we give that away? Shall yeah. we? Yeah. You want that one? We'll, we'll give you a choice of two. Whoever we pick out again, we'll give you um, the choice. Shall we colour the Santa's feet as well? Do you want to do that? Yes. Alright. I, I was wondering about pulling this as well. on your Christmas tree. Oh, they'd be great for Christmas ornaments. Like really nice. Because you know you could get like a theme, like you've got like a nice rustic theme. Oh, I think that would be lovely, Maria. So we'll do this one as well. Let me get my brush. Obviously we're gonna do the same kind of colours again. We'll do a bit of orange. Oh right. You look there while I rummage down from your pencil. That's the last Adjust. thing you want to do is to drop your pencils. Because you, if you drop the pencils, you break the interior of the, the uh, core of your pencils. And you don't want that to happen. Are you suffering, Maria? Oh, man. Right, so we're going to use this kind of, these colours here. We want greens. We shall use, let's use it. No, I'm not going to use that bright one. Let's use that one. So what pencils are you using? Well, I'm using the, um, the Faber-Castell the Albrecht Dura ones, which are really nice, top quality, good quality. I think they're the top quality that they do. Um, so what you're paying for is um, strong pigment that doesn't fade as easily as um, a, a less lesser quality uh, product. So let's make these little stripy legs. Let's do them. Let's do the, the green stripes on his tights. Yeah. No. Green shoes. I'm going to do... Now I'm going to do this green. All right, I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. Can you tell? Mm. Yeah. I'm going to do this green. So while Sheena's progressing with this, I'm intrigued to know whereabouts in the country and what country do you come from? We know we've got Good somebody question. in Evesham tonight. That's yeah, so we cool. do. Yeah, is that brilliant? Yay. Yeah, Anne and Andrew. Fantastic. Yay. Whereabouts in in Evesham, Anne and Andrew? I don't mean your exact address. I'm, no, I'm not going to stalk you yeah, or no. anything like that. <laughs> I just mean. Yeah, we'll be well <laughs> shortly. <laughs> Hampton End or? <laughs> oh, Cornwall. South Wales. That's not Evesham. 
even Penzance. I know that. Penzance. Oh, we're seriously thinking of our holiday this year. In oh, Cornwall, yeah, we, we? we're planning it. Yeah, yes. we are planning it with Karen and Brenda. And should we tell them what we think we're doing? Yeah, go on then. We're thinking of hiring. They've got a, an RV, um, like a, a camper van, and they love it. So we're thinking of um, of doing that and tootling down there with them, aren't we? Yes. Somewhere. So we're going to hire one. Yeah. Hampshire. Yay. That's where I was born. Bradford. We've got to have somebody from Newcastle. Come on. Yeah, there's, I saw a couple from Newcastle at the Yay. very beginning. Oh my gosh, we had Northampton, Perth in Scotland, Kent. Why, a Newcastle canny lasses. Yay. Dawn, hey. Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. Are you what? kidding me? What? Mind you, the sun's shining in Evesham, so who'd want yeah. to be in Trinidad and Tobago? Yeah, poor. With your feet yeah. in the sand and uh, a cocktail in your hand. And, yeah, sounds yeah. like hell to me. Yeah. Yeah. I do feel for you. Yeah, we've got the chip shop and a cup of tea. Yeah, <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> yeah, Wiltshire. Tenerife, oh, they're rubbing it in now, oh, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, but, yeah, likely. The lot of you are all just in Evesham as well, aren't you? <laughs> You're just the neighbours <laughs> along across the street. Yeah, tell them this, tell them this. Could you maybe hold it from the bottom? Because we're getting mostly your hand and nothing else. Well, from there? Yes. All right, sorry. Thank you. Okay. Devlin, Karen Griffin. Karen, Karen Griffin's Griffin in the in house. house. Karen Griffin Wales. of the camper van. Oh, there's yeah. a lot in Cornwall. Oh, lovely. You see now, being up north, living up north, um, Scotland and, and, you know, Northumberland, beautiful, gorgeous, you know, fabulous place. But I've, I've you know, been there, done that a lot, but I have not done the whole Doc Martin area and things. I'm really looking forward to having a look down this way and, well, not this way, but further, further down. That'll be really cool. Looking forward to that. Our Anne and Andrew are in the town centre, Evesham. Yay! Michelle's in Bradford. Oh, everybody everywhere. Crikey, it's quite spread out. Yeah, it's cool though. Isn't that brilliant though? Imagine if we didn't have, if this had happened a few years back and we didn't have this and phone, mobile phones or any way of, you know, communicating the way we can. Oh! <gasps> Would have been so much worse, wouldn't it? Mm. All right, so I've got that. I'm going to paint the little um, the little dingly bells. I'm going to do them bright, and I want some white on this as well because I definitely want some highlight. So I don't forget do the whole thing, and then I'll put a highlight on them. Put a little bit. Of Could you use your metallic right. powders on that? You can use anything, Maria. Yeah, you can use that. If you, as long as you mix it with something that will make it cling to the thing, cling to the thing. I'm going to do is the cup. So you wouldn't do it just with water. Would you do it with PVA glue? Or yes, PVA glue would be the thing. Oh. Uh, a bit of varnish, even once you're done. If you want to, you know, put some gold on later, you can do that. Um, the powders will mix and go onto anything as long as you mix them with the appropriate thing for that surface. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So here we are getting all festive this time of the year, sun shining. But I just fancy doing a Christmas one just to see how you know cute it looks. That's looking good though, isn't it? Mm. Um we definitely will put a little bit of a let's try that. No, well that's wood colour really. That's not gonna be much good, is it? Wood colour on the top of the thing. Um, we'll do a bit of, yeah, I mean, why not? We'll put a little highlight on there. And the candy cane, we don't want the stripe on there. Are you all still enjoying this? Are you all still, are you there? Yeah, they're there. They're still telling me where they all are. Cool. Alison's got a caravan in Carmarthen. Brilliant. Wales. Nice. I used to go to Wales every year when I was a kiddie for holidays. Yeah, Near lovely. Bala Lake, is that how you say it? Bala. New Bella Lake, isn't it? Oh, here we go again. It always sounds the same. Every accent ends up kind of with a Welsh kind of little bit of a thing in it. Geordie's the same. Yeah, bless. Well, I'll try. I know. I, I really, I'm really perfecting my Geordie accent. I'm doing really well, I think. Yes, it sounds it's quite coming authentic. on, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's coming on. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, 
so we've got the I don't want it again really really strong I just want the kind of as if it's whitewashed yeah mm -hmm. and then we can also put a highlight on his on his slippers as well just with a little bit of white showing there Richard says he lives in Thailand, but he came back because of the virus. Oh, wow. Poor Thailand. I've never been there. My parents yeah. have. They said it's fantastic. Oh, your parents have been all over the place. The well stories. <gasps> the stories they tell. What? Some of them are a bit Lanka scary. They got kidnapped. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah. I don't recommend Colin Sri Lanka. and Coral. <laughs> don't, don't. Or at least not a boat on the river. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not not where Coral and Coral went anyway, and um, obviously not, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere with your mum and dad, but it's far too scary. I will stick to Whitley Bay. Cheers. Whitley Bay. Possibly Tyne Mouth. Right. So can you see how that's coming on there? The little shading on his feet oh, that looks fabulous we'll put it those little dots so i'm using white gouache here and again you can, if you water it down it's really very very white it's lovely so if you, and you can have it very strong or you can water it down and it looks more like you've just like a whitewash on the wood i'm gonna pop some little highlights on this these um marshmallows and cream on the top if you hear a little tick tick that's Willow's feet on the wooden floor while she's pursuing her um, fly or whatever it is that's got in. So I'm going to colour the book in. Uh, what colour am I going to give the book? Ooh, I could do a bookish colour, just a neutral. Or, you know what I'm going to do before I do that? I'm going to use this blue. I'm going to use this blue under here. I'm going to do a bit of shading under there. Do that a bit darker. The thing is, I can go quite dark under here if I want to. Can you see the way it's absorbing at different rates in the wood? And there's nothing, nothing you can do about that. Hey, Will, you all right? Young one? Yeah? Get down. She's, yeah, but I like to sit on Sheenie's knee when she's working. This is true. Trying to draw with a cockapoo on your lap. Not that easy, let me tell you. And a little bit of lighter blue or grey colour, even the yeah, let's do a bit of grey to that. So this is the process of colouring on the wood. But big big um tip is I mentioned it before is make sure you sand the wood as best you can before you start. That's really quite dark there. I may put a little bit of a white highlight on it because you can't take it off. Once it's in, once it's absorbed into that um, into that wood, it's it's in there. You know, you can't you can't lift it. It's not like it's not going to float full bleach. So I'll just put a little bit. I just want it to look like there's a bit of a shadow underneath those areas. But yeah, that's a bit better. And until it dries, we won't see exactly what we've got. Um, pagey kind of colour for the book pages kind of going to be similar to the colour of the the wood but we'll just put a little bit of colour on there darken it a little bit so are people finding this interesting then something a little bit different or is this the last thing we're going to see of you give me a thumbs up if you find it interesting <laughs> And what colour will we do the book? Let's do the book a paler blue. No, no. Any ideas? I want to know what colour to do the book, guys. That's what we've got so far. All right. I want to do some colour around here, maybe yellowish colour, glow. What colour are we going to do the book? I'll do the yellowy glow colour. Think on. There's always a delay at our end. Yeah. It's about, I don't know, it's about a six second delay, I think. Yeah. That's just us. That's just us in life. It's how I speed these days, Maria. Dina Everything. says orange book. Sam says purple. Okay. Lisa says purple. All right. Claire says black. Okay. We'll get this colour done here. And then that might help us decide what colour we're going to do the book. How about or that? Or tan. Yeah. Another purple. Great. Burgundy. 
Ron Burgundy. That was a film reference, Maria. Red. Mm -hmm. All right, there. Uh, Another purple. I think purple's yeah. got the lead. Has it? Okay. So. And you give that a nice warm glow as if you're sitting in front of a toasty fire or something. So we'll, again, going to wet the rest of it. Mm, purple sounds quite good. I think Terry blue. Kim wants purple. Yeah, purples and Cynthia. All right. And Liz. Okie doke. I'm leaning towards a purple book. <laughs> Yay. All right. Fiona says, is the image a stamp? Yes, it is. It was from the uh, last year's Christmas collection. I don't know if there's any still available. But have a look on um, Create and Craft site if you want to see if that's where you would get them. If there's any available. I, I really honestly don't know. But I love that little image. It's this such a funny, uh, cute image there. Uh, Maria's feet. With her feet up when you pet. That's it, yeah. Yeah, same shape and everything. Yeah. Just little jingle, jingle bells. bells every yeah. Time, a cup of tea. She yeah. She comes running. Yeah. Not. <laughs> <laughs> More chance of Willa getting me a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna scribble a bit of that. Orange hair. Bit more of that. Ba -ba -ba. So this video I'll be posting eventually onto YouTube in the next, uh, probably tomorrow. Next in the next so. tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you subscribe to that, um, we'll follow it or whatever the uh, terminology terminology is. Thank you, Sheena. Thank you. Yeah, and it'll all be there for you to watch at your leisure. What the, what the young people say. Yeah, that that thing that they do, like follow, subscribe, whatever. You know the, the thing. Right, I'm gonna just. A little bit there, and the book, purple. Then yeah, okay, dog. Let's find a pretty one. Well, we have to mix a purple, so um, make it more of a ready purple. Let's try that. Try this and a bit of that. It's going well, it's going to be, might be quite dark. This one because different, you know, you've got your primary colors, haven't you? Your red and your blues, and different reds and blues make different purples. Some of them really nice, some of them not so nice, like that one there. Ew. Um, Right, let's try this colour. Let's try that one. It should be a more whiny colour. And we'll try oh, maybe a blue. Let's try this. See what we get here. Karen says, your Facebook lives are so engaging. I'm so glad that you're thinking of carrying it on. Ah, oh, thank you. Well, yeah, as long as people want to watch and you want to you see it, we'll be there. As me and the lovely Sue were singing to each other on the site the other day. Just look off your shoulder, honey. Yeah. <laughs> we were bringing salvation back and everything, weren't we, so Right, so it's kind of like a maroony kind of purple. <laughs> but if I put a bit of white on it, we could maybe bring out a little bit of the highlight on it. We could pop a little bit of the um, a pinky colour in it. There you go. See, it wasn't going to show up as it was by the little bit of white. It's shown it up. So we'll dry that. See what it looks like once the water's evaporated, and see if we're happy with it. More rag earlier. Uh huh tagged somebody, I think that's the right expression. Right. Just type your friend's name in. Right. And apparently it alerts them to watch it later if ah, you think they're gonna enjoy it. Cheers Maura, what a good idea. Yeah. You see, I've gotta be honest, Facebook is like a whole foreign thing. I have no clue what's going on. Facebook not a clue. Um so yeah any of those things fabulous. So if you know someone that you think will benefit or enjoy watching it or want to learn a new craft, then type their name in. Yeah. Or tag them. Yay. Makes it sound like I know what I'm talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. I'm <laughs> impressed, Maria. Rather impressed. Oh, that's nice. Now, let's try. It's really pretty. We'll put the um, 
we'll put the wax on it but I think that would be a charming Christmas gift would you don't you if, what before remember before you wax it just check out and see if you want to put any more white any more highlight if you want to be a little stronger with any of the definition um, you know you can do that I'm trying to dry it without burning my fingers but the camera woman's indicating to lift it up for you so um, I'm now denying the pain right so what we can do is if you if you want you can bring your your gel pen back if you want to spot highlight anything I'll bring it out a little bit stronger in any place I think it's all right we'll put a little highlight on the on the mug handle uh, a little bit more on this the cream on the top there and definitely in this candy cane it's just gone off my screen so apologies I can't see your name but somebody said could you demonstrate how to use the pyrography machine I could um, have we, we got... did do that in the last yeah, video we did. actually burnt one of these live you did yeah bird, we did you? yeah so if you want to look at that we could do that um, you know, I'm happy to play any more but we have what we're thinking of is we're, we're going to go out and do the and I'm not sure if um, Mandy's got a Facebook live tonight or not because what we've been okay. doing is finishing so that Mandy could see it. But um, you know what, we could do another one at some point. Just nip it, pop in and do another burning. We might do the tree or something um, in between the other stuff we're going to build. Sunday is definitely glass painting. So who would like to see More. another pyrography, an actual burning of um, a pattern. stamp design? This was the one we did on the last video. This was the very one. We stamped the bird and burned it. Um, but this tree, a lot of you are liking. The tree, it's not a stamp, but then I can show you how we can work without a stamp, if well, that's interesting. Drawing, really, yeah, it? it was, well, not really, yeah, totally. <laughs> without even a pencil mark, I just thought, well, you know what, because I just wanted to try it out. And that was really just to see how it, how it felt on the wood. And it worked out really nicely, actually. So it's a keeper. Or, or a gift is what it's going to be um but yeah so any if you want to um see any more can you see how that's lightened already can you see how much lighter that is yeah it was much darker lot, wasn't it a it? lot yeah so what we would do is the same with this one is we'll wax it and then sign the back so let's should we wax it i'm gonna gonna have to take your stand away and then we'll pick a winner and whoever's the winner can choose whether you want the Santa's feet or you want the the um, poppies. So this is really going to soak into this wood because it's so porous, this pine. So you'll find it's, it makes it darkens it as if it's you know got water on it again. But remember what happened the last time; it'll lighten uh, once that evaporates a bit and then you can polish it but i really like that more mellow color anyway are you liking that guys yeah it's fantastic i'm liking it. i think it looks cool i like the color the background color yeah pretty. So it's really soaked in in the middle and then lighter it? at the edges yeah well i used a darker color there in the center i used i used this orangey color here in this towards the center and then blended into this one so it gave it a natural kind of glow so um what else was I going to say? I can't remember what else I was going to say. Yeah, so, you know, well, um, let us know if you want to see any more pyrography. Um, leave some comments, please. That would be brilliant if you can comment on this one because we, we look at the videos and after with... Usually before dinner, we're really good, aren't we? You know, we've done this. Yeah. We're really, you know, considering we're absolutely starving. But, you know, we answer and, and get back. Um, so let us know what you want to see what you're enjoying what you you know you want anything different but that there when it's dry will polish up and um and we'll pick a a winner and send we'll let you know we'll get in touch with you and let you and you can request either this or this as a gift and i'll sign the back i haven't waxed it because i'm going to sign it with the tool first for you and then and pop a little string or ribbon or whatever on it for you the comments are coming through whoever that was that said you weren't sure 
So your name's disappearing really quickly on my screen when it's landscape, but we're hearing you. Yay. All right, the lovelies, I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit of colouring onto the um, onto the really inexpensive pine discs. So, um, and it's just great fun. I'm loving it. Um, as well as all the other, you know, your craft. I've got the sewing machine. I still haven't made my masks. I've got, I've got about 15 masks started. But then it got a bit tricky other than just a straight line. Because, you know, I don't sew. So I might have to look at another video and see how to do the next bit. But um, yeah, so brilliant. So that was watercolouring onto um, a pyrography piece onto just an inexpensive paint surface. And I hope you enjoyed it. And next one, Sunday at six o'clock, is going to be painted on glass. So see you there. But this is different. This is opaque paint on glass. In fact, it's not just any paint on glass. We're going to be paint fusioning on glass. So those of you who like a bit of the old paint fusion, which is... A combination of paint acrylic base paint with stamps this was something that um, a concept I brought out for oh, quite a few years ago now and um, and we're using traditional folk art techniques which are centuries old so either double loading a paintbrush if you can or just painting and stamping whichever way you get there it doesn't matter as long as it looks good you're using the stamp as the base and then you're painting on top and even if you lose the stamped image it doesn't matter just there as a guide so that's what we're going to be doing on Sunday so pick a day Sheena because yeah. lots of people are wanting more pyrography burning um, how about I'll see how I get on because I've got a lot of stuff I've got to be doing I've got to be drawing as well I'm busy drawing um, over the weekend and see how we get on and then we'll give you a day's notice will that work yeah will that work for everybody same well, as this yeah. one just keep checking in um, and if you I think if you if you like the page don't you get a notification or something like that? I don't know I, I don't know and for those that it's the first time, just go onto Sheena's Facebook page, Sheena Douglas, and you'll find out from there when we're going li to go la 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 live. There you go. All right. Brilliant. But we will do it because I, I'm, I need no excuse. I want to do it. It's fun. Let's do that. All right. Great. Thanks, everybody. Lots Take care. Love, everyone. Stay safe. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.